The cement manufacturing process employs raw materials like lime, silica, alumina and iron oxide in correct proportions. So these oxides react in the kiln during the cement manufacturing process at a higher temperature to form complex compounds. These complex compounds are called as box compounds. Now, various compounds are formed during the reaction, out of which the four main important box compounds are tricalcium silicate C3S or alite, dicalcium silicate C2S or bilite, tricalcium aluminate C3A or the aluminate phase, and the tetracalcium aluminoferrite C4AF, which is the ferrite phase. The figure shows the pictorial representation of different box compounds that are present in the cement in a microscopical view. These box compounds are the, actually the secret recipe which when reacted with water makes the cement to harden or set. The basic chemical composition of cement that is the box compounds are given in the table. For convenience they are given in short forms as shown in the table. The significance of each compound is discussed in terms of the percentage by weight. The proportion of raw materials, that is, the oxides, influence the quality and quantity of box compounds in cement. So, the selection of raw materials for cement manufacture have an important role in the quality and the quantity of box compounds that are formed. There are ways in which we can determine the quantity or the proportion of box compounds. It is given by box equation. The four minerals in Portland cement that is C3S, C2S, C3A and C4AF can be calculated by the following equations. Box compounds undergo chemical reaction when they are reacted with water. The chemical reaction that takes place between the cement and water is referred to as hydration of cement. The hydration of cement is an exothermic reaction. So you have to keep this in mind that all the box compound does not undergo the reaction with water all of a sudden. There is a particular order in which each compound reacts to form a particular hydration product. Each reaction of the compound results in certain hydration products that influence the strength of the concrete. To give a quick idea about the different hydration reactions that is happening in cement when reacted with water are mentioned below. Number one is the reaction of C3S with water which gives the compound CSH and CH and lots of heat. Number two is the reaction of C2S with water which also gives us CSH and CH. Similarly, C3A also reacts and provides us with a similar product of calcium silicate hydrate. Now, calcium silicate hydride and calcium hydroxide are the two main byproducts of hydration of cement that have a greater influence on the strength of cement or strength of concrete. We will be making the next video on the different stages of cement hydration using a graph and also the related products in detail. Hope you like this video. For more such informative videos, subscribe to Civil Engineering Fanatics.